Can you tell us what really happened on the third day of um, the run election? Well, uh, we came to the INEC office when our agents informed us that the numbers, the uh, result sheets sent there were all fake. They had been printed somewhere else and we got to the uh, INEC office and verified that they were actually fake materials. There were no watermarks on the sheets. Some of them didn't even have PDP, the names of the PDP. It was a mess. Even the original signs that you run across many of the results sheets for Senate, House of Reps and Assembly were not there. So we complained to the uh, INEC officer, the E or the electoral officer, and in the presence of the parties, he came up with what appeared to be a solution at that time that he would authenticate the materials by signing on every one of them. The agents will also count as, will also count to sign as well. So we left the office, you know, went back to our wards, only to be called back later that the military, the army led by Lieutenant Colonel Onogu and one Major Mustafa were at the collation at the uh, INEC office, asking them to bring the materials out and begin to use those same tainted resources instead of completing the process of authenticating, authenticating them. So I complained to the brigade commander by phone and he told me to go there and sort it out with the, uh, uh, the two gentlemen. Unfortunately, when I arrived there, they were not in the mood to talk to anybody. They were barking and threatening everybody in the place, including myself. And when they insisted that they wanted to use those uh, results sheets that I told you that were photocopies really, and I said it was not possible to do so, that it was wrong. I was thereafter forcefully forced into the back of an armored personnel carrier by one Major Mustafa, threatened at gunpoint, forced and taken to Bori camp, and subsequently I was sent to the uh, SSS uh, headquarters and detained there overnight. So what did they really, why they really, uh, did they charge you for? I'm since since, charged, since you, have, you protested, I'm, I'm, since you protested, you protested for your rights, and what did they, why did, what's the reason why they have to keep you more than 24 well, hours? Usually when they call you, they ask you to make a statement. And of course I reported this and other events preceding that particular uh, episode about what happened during the, the, the period on that election. In fact, at 6.30 a.m. that morning, I was woken up by people in my community that soldiers were asking women and those in my community do frog jumps at Vilo Junction, a place near my house. I quickly got up and called the uh, same Lieutenant Colonel Onogu, where he said I shouldn't worry. He assured me that he was going to check that these stories come up. People make all kinds of stories. But I didn't stop there. I called a Captain Jetta and informed him that why are his boys asking people to f do frog jumps on, on, on an election morning? disturbing people going to their various units. He apologized to me and told me that he was going to stop them from doing so, that that was not right. Shortly after that, the soldiers withdrew from there. This was much earlier before the incident I was telling you about. But I think the, the crux of the matter is that soldiers have no business in elections. I don't know why ele on election day we would have soldiers, the Nigerian military, fully armed in, in police stations at the INEC office attempting to escort fake materials into the field. I think the world should know this. You cannot have a situation where they do so. And the next thing I heard, some were circulating stories. Some said I was trying to, why would I want to stop an election? All I wanted to do was authentic, let them use original documents and not fo documents photocopied by the APC and sent there. So that's basically it. I mean, there, there is nothing else to say other than we must go back to a situation where proper elections are held and not elections supervised by the Nigerian army. They have no place in the, our electoral law. They haven't. So what do you do? How will you describe your whole process of this uh, run election? Well, I've just come out of detention. I've just told you what happened. The whole process, as far as I saw in Gokana, would have been seriously flawed if they had gone, across, gone ahead with elections yesterday. In the first place, you cannot take photocopied materials and use them as, uh, as uh, uh, originals. INEC ought to tell us why we ended up being given photocopied materials. 
let them deny it. Because we all inspected the materials at war and we saw them to be fake. And I don't know what is going on because this INEC of today cannot, they can, let, let them explain to us why they would use documents that are not original and bring them to the, 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 the uh, INEC offices to be distributed. And then when people say this is wrong, the Nigerian army comes in and helps them to want to distribute it. It is wrong. Are those, are those soldiers not Nigerians themselves? Why, why, would they, why would they support what is wrong? I, I, I have been told that they have threats to my life. Yes. Let those who want to threaten, but I will speak the truth. Let anybody tell me where in the world soldiers go on to escort materials and tell people what to do. It's not right. Okay, thank you for your attention.